<laughs> I'm not where I want to be But I'm in what was once a dream So if I do some quick math The future equals a dream come true Since 1992, In All Honesty, a podcast by Olive Orawo. Welcome to another episode, if not the last episode of the In All Honesty podcast. My fabulous name is Olive Orawo and I'm here with two beautiful people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch out, wazee kusikia maoni yao juu ya Mungu mjue kama bado ni beautiful. Our beauty doesn't rely on your belief in God. <laughs> And on this episode, this is actually a 2.0. We already did um our, an one episode on why I left church. Yeah. <laughs> Why I left church and people felt like we hadn't had atukwa to mifanya exhaustively. Mm -hmm. So now we've come back with this episode and we're going to get into it. But first of all, introduce yourselves as you'd like to be known. We can start with Mary Lee's. Hi, everybody. It's me again. <laughs> I'm still Mary Lee's. <laughs> and I'm glad to be back here. I'm excited for the topic because, yeah, yeah the topic is a mindfuck and I love that. But of course... Adrian. All right. Uh I'm Adrian, Adrian Kibai. And I'm also happy to be here. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so today we are talking about um reasons why I left faith or reasons why I left church or rather just the experience in general and I think today we'll go into more of the what are they called the 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 the, the, the phenomenon the concepts mm. basically the, the the cultural things around faith and church but first we can start with um, our very own stories where we are at right now and when we left the church or how that experience was or right. maybe if, if i start it makes it easier mm. Eh mimi si dri guys uniombe tukuombe wapi tukuombe wapi but i can say the let me start with this and maybe it will trigger something for mm -hmm. you guys the first me i grew up in a church called eh nitawanika nyinyi ac fellowship in eldoret <laughs> uh -huh. ac fellowship in eldoret so i grew up in that church What I didn't realize at the time and why church sounded okay to me is because it's a very elitist church and me I didn't know. You know it's church for Biwata and Moi. Mm. And when now my eyes started to open or rather I was always uncomfortable but I just didn't know why and also you're not you're taught not to question. Mm -hmm. When I got to a point where my eyes opened I felt like wait a minute. I can say ingekuwa hauna pesa. The treatment is not the same because There's a way what what triggered me so much is there's this family that was used to be called the Turkana family and there was some sort of token. It was just like when someone is doing something, oh the Turkana family, the Turkana family is paraded in front of the church. Yani they are being helped. So mm. it's it, there's this token that is constantly and I felt like when people say poverty has no dignity, mm. that's what they mean. And for me that's what started unsettling me so much. Where I was just like if we really like even as we were doing well my family mm -hmm. we were a decent family we were not be what rich <laughs> but my my dad afforded school fees so mm -hmm. maybe <laughs> <laughs> so maybe just being in that in that caliber mm -hmm. maybe we didn't see the other side of the church because we've seen people who have stories about the church mm -hmm. are people who maybe um tragedy struck at home and then you turned to the church and you realized kama we seem to kona kakiru the church does not consider you worth helping mm -hmm. or rather that's when you see the true colors so for me i i looked at it in that sense and for me i was also like i know i'm a very lucky girl honestly kama kuna mtu mungu amebariki ni mimi but i was just like mbona mungu abariki au wengine au wengine walifanya nini umetosheka mungu bariki wengine So that was my that was one of the aspects and I don't know if it triggers anything for you a very elitist um I think for me just arriving at a place where I was like 
I mean to go off of why I left church. Mm. But like church has never been with me. So arriving mm. at a place where church has never really been with me, the concept of it is uh, a big fallacy if you may. And uh, we live in a world that yes, a lot of things can happen to people, tragedies strike and boy do I have a fair share of those. Yeah. I've shared some of them here. So some mm, of you true. probably think I'm your I'm your BFF, I'm your sister, I'm your sibling, I'm whatever it is you think I am to you. I am that and more. Uh and 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 because of those things it is true again that when a human being is going through, you know, any kind of, you know, animosity, you know, some experiences, some tragedies, you need community, mm-hmm. right? The only thing I don't like is the narrative that has been created that church gives that community because truly truly church doesn't uh you the there's rich. you have just like capital how capitalism works just like the one percent who owns uh the the wealth that the whole world of 8.8 plus billion people should be owning operates mm-hmm. you have to please the one percent you have to kiss us you have to do a number of things to meet the criteria to meet the threshold of wh- why you can even talk to them and why they can even listen to you and why they can even do anything about your situation and so um i guess the not having the the dna in me to kiss us has always existed mm. so when you begin to learn while growing up that oh i really need to do a lot of this to be accepted here to belong here mm. but also church does a lot of betraying as a child who's who grew up in a catholic home too much catholic if you ask me because father mother both from catholic background so too much catholic happening in the family and the only mm-hmm. time i saw or experienced any other kinds of religions was when like some of my cousins or my aunts are married now to different households mm-hmm. with people who have different uh, diverse religions and all. that's when i started seeing other religions but what stood out for me is how regardless of how different religions how different churches how different you know beliefs are they all agree on the same thing when things mm-hmm. like abuse happen in the society they all they keep quiet right together. in yeah. kenya currently we are protesting people have been killed and we've seen church remain quiet about that and even when they speak they don't speak in a language that ensures mm. it puts value on the lives that we've lost because of this protest because someone is responsible for them and so for me church has never been with the people mm. church is just another business person wanting to make the most out of the situation and they lure you into believing that they're on the same side just like Ruto lured all of us is a hustler like a snow oh, that man ain't He did not and now we are here. I voted for a Jacob. Yeah. Sadly, <laughs> sadly the thing about democracy <laughs> Sadly the thing about democracy is even if he didn't lure you if he gets into the office we are That's all one true. and the we same. All, yeah. So we are all here suffering the consequences and I feel like church operates like that. So for me why I left church is when I realized church has never been with me and I do believe in any kind of relationship I engage myself with people things you name it mm. it has to be mutual i have yeah, to be I where i'm wanted and the people have to be where they are wanted i have to want them and they have to want me church never wanted me so so it's mm. an easy journey for me it's yeah. like it doesn't matter lost nothing really yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is there something like too much air you see <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 because if I start, if mm. I speak, <laughs> I think I come from a from a very strong Adventist background. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's something as too much SDA also. Mm. <laughs> because <laughs> because where <laughs> uh, uh, yeah you grow up you grow up not knowing the small pleasures of life yes mm. at least uh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> na divine na mwili wa Kristo. <laughs> hata kama mliko at least mliko mnaonjeshwa divine kidogo unajua. Wait, at least it doesn't have that ni ni the Lord's table. No, they, uh, they, they do but it's uh, it's not fermented. For it's not fermented. Yeah, ilikuwa na pombe. No, no it's pombe. alcohol. No. It's, it's wine. It's, it's wine. wine. <laughs> but it's for a, them yeah. it wasn't. Uje ushai kunywa altar wine. Yes, and yeah, I really it's, like it's actually it. it's actually really inebriating, like it. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. But then, I, then again, this beer and this beer one is not the altar wine you drink. It's just It well, doesn't have alcohol. No alcohol content. Guys, let me plug you. I know you know church wine. Yeah. Tafuta tasa iko kwa Jumia party ama Ah, okay, yes. Yeah, and then the, the there's a way that they, they make the bread also so that it doesn't for me it doesn't have any and living uh, yeah, and living bread in its yes. own way yeah is so, it joe they denied you a high from when you were young. from everything <laughs> bana hata karibu royko atoe <laughs> god damn <it. laughs> uh, you know there's a, there's a period in life sikula nyama for a long time I think high school yote but it's not because of faith and that was it's not because of faith really it's mm. mostly because when you grow up around a home that uh, you barely see me it it stops being sorry it stops being a part of your mm. uh, you know it's something that you look forward to or anything so my dad wasn't eating meat when my mom eats meat it's not even at home it's probably somewhere out there mm. yeah so event, eventually kabla muone nyama it's probably once a week kinyongeona mingi ni kuku we had a lot of chicken oh chicken is mm, also oh, there's meat chicken. that are, uh, are white allowed. white meat white meat is nini mmesikia mambo ya lng white nini msianzi so nyipi anko na halal well not really halal but uh, there's something there's something there's a doctrine about health and temperance yeah that dictates how much red meat you can eat to just stay healthy Mm-hmm. live a long life blah 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 but it's all about health and temperance not really at it bibili and really say it's just mm-hmm. about looking out for your health mm-hmm. but here ilikuwa inapelekwa sasa unajua ki mix one tidbit fact about life no mix na religion we mix na religion when i blow up kabisa ina kani kama sasa kula nyama ni kidogo tu eh, like gani it, it, Oh Nikitan oh. eh, ni, ni one direction alive Sisi nataka kuwa omni direction 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Oh the Nikitan Oh eh hey, maybe Oh fai kufikiria yeah. yeah. I'm sorry Kuna fikiri kitu sana Maybe maybe thinking is the problem Yeah is the problem Kama umesema na faka ka Please don't say what you're doing Aha So are we good? Yeah. So now unapata a little bit of religion mixed with a little bit of facts about life in a poor blown up into something mm-hmm. preposterous. Sasa shida ni that I totally digress. Growing up in religion and I realize as you grow up things were beautiful, things were nice. Watch you grow up. Mm-hmm. Wait until you become an adult and then probably see how your parents are treated or how someone is treated or or, yeah. or other kids from maybe less privileged families are mm. treated but then you see maybe if uh, for instance when SDA it's majorly mostly most of the people in there are from uh, Luo Nyanza or Kisi Nyanza mm. or yeah. western western Kidogo and then there's a sprinkle of kuyozia and there especially in Nairobi where you'd expect it to be metropolitan mm-hmm. utapata the the people from maybe central or other areas where other religions are dominating mm-hmm. utapata ni wachache so one day unapata they become the marginalized community in mm-hmm. church <laughs> Yeah. Marginalization in church is yeah. now, now now they now they have to learn a few luo words or kisi words ah. or really wa- mm. because at some point everybody is conversing in 
their ah. mother tongue and then mna baki zile za um i have no one to talk to <laughs> na float yeah my, my my family is the only kuyo family <laughs> or my family is the only other tribe family mm, yeah and uh, it, it it just That's it was off thought. yeah it was off and then she the um, she the my, my my problem with the this kind of setting unapata mtu anaweza simamia kitu Same for instance you stand for something mm. and then the church actively tries to railroad you into doing what they want you to do but you oh, it goes against doctrine oh it goes against our fundamental beliefs you mm. nini imagine you'll get uh ileto goje kutolewa kanisani excommunicated yeah. <laughs> imagine imagine you'll get excommunicated mm-hmm. They I, I there was an elder one time I think we are related to Mbali. Imagine I left Kuzo Kanisa because he stood for because he stood for something. Yeah. Everybody else and this is what I'm saying. There's no bigger hate than Christian the love. Christian mm. love. Yeah. Please. There's no bigger hate than Christian love. But I, Once you start seeing <laughs> their true colors. Hey, I saw yesterday someone posted. They are not very Christ like boy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, at least our baby nyaunyo anatandika watu kanisani yeah. but <laughs> nothing is Christ like. Hey, hey, na- nothing is Christ like about. Sometimes there's chapo tu na nyaunyo uone hiyo injury ujui kipona imemaliza. Kuna hiki chapo na chapwa internal you guy my guy you walk with the pain it's not visible uh, yeah, you can't yeah, explain yeah. it and uh, Could, uh, my my most recent experience just before now i started you know moving away further and further from the church is to cure youth you decided okay maybe i might be interested in being actively participating in church activities mm-hmm. nini nini because once you get baptized mm-hmm. you can pick a role Yeah, and the first baptism is a whole process. It's yeah. it's not ku mimeniwa maji kunyunyiziwa maji kama the cathos na drowniwa. Eh, sisi yetu it's uh, you have to go <laughs> through survived. you have to go through what probably you guys would call catechism. Ours is you have oh, to yeah. mm. you have to go through a whole process ya kufunzwa fundamental beliefs of the church doctrines nini mm. nini 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 nini. And if you question anything you go back to square one and start again. Mimi nilikuwa one of the <laughs> questionnaire questionnaire. <laughs> <laughs> call bullshit. Yeah. I'd call bu- oh, and, be, and uh, wewe hata wewe like wewe mwenye unaniambia hizi vitu does it make sense does it make to you? Sense to you? Like you're, you're, you're the adult here bwana. <laughs> Act like it. <laughs> I mean surely. So when I questioned kila time I wouldn't graduate to go get baptized I was like oh, I dodged that one. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, why am i just uh, saying yes without I, there should be room for questioning as mm. you said kuna fa kuna some room for questioning that CRT, my whole trajectory in the faith itakuwa compromised Even because it's not questions mm. it's an interaction yes. why is yeah. it one way tell me why this and this and this is considered not you know it's kind of faux pas or it's wrong ish mm. so, so just don't do it or avoid it tell me i'm an adult as in yeah. at least niko na comprehensive mind i can comprehend <clears throat> bad from good and all that yeah, just tell this me point. and then leave it at that yeah, yeah. Hey, but how when he likayo class i think for four five years <laughs> what, what we overlooked what, we that, year? what i think we also overlooked in such situations is that even the people who were now teaching us those Sunday school teachers the preachers or rather the people who are elders or leaders they themselves didn't know the answers to these things mm. they too were following blindly mm-hmm. so when you come and ask ni kama vile ukiuliza mwalimu swali na hako anajua alikuwa hiyo kidogo alikuwa ame overlook they get so mad yeah. because it's like yeah it's like right it's you're humiliating them they don't take it as oh my chance to learn i was the young sheldon <laughs> of the class <laughs> Was Stan a young children uh, anywhere? I was the young children of the class then. <laughs> Be- yeah. But sasa now growing up unapata mnaingia kwa kwa choir nini shughuli kama hizo eh. Mm. So sasa mimi nikaingia kwa choir flani. That choir became a whole point of controversy. He can sing. Oh yeah. Mesikia hiyo. SD. Well, 
<laughs> so zimeingia <laughs> kwaya tumeenda we are going places now tumeshikana mpaka na East African kwaya nini nini mm. uh, church elders so kaanza kuleta siasa oh mbona mnatoka kanisa you see now uh, church lasts the whole day yeah mm-hmm. so sisi tutatoka Which labda afternoon yeah sisi tutatoka afternoon twende mahali tuprakoma tufanya kitu na mm. other groups mm. who are also participating well ili leta siasa oh msiende unsupervised oh mm. sasa to them in their heads tumeenda kudunda yeah if you are unsupervised tumeenda kudunda do you know it came to a point pastor mbaka akajam kwa sababu we were growing more independent and more, and by the day you kila time kila time wana tunyima one or two, two three facilities you see the church should back you yeah mm wakitunyima one or two three things tunaenda our own way mm. tunaenda our own way yeah. so the eventually yeah. becoming longer yep. <laughs> yeah. eventually we can discover Allah, these people we can't control them anymore mm. we almost also excommunicate <laughs> 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 because kanisa na excess eh bana na wana wana kufukuza haraka as in there's no chance of yeah. redemption or anything yeah. jine na kwetu inakuwa as bad as jine inatolewa kwa kitabu ya kanisa kuna kuanga na kitabu ya kanisa. Yes, church membership. <laughs> church <laughs> membership. I was goes as guy. <laughs> so where so you see where you're baptized? <laughs> yeah. Where you're baptized? Mm-hmm. Your name uh, is with that church. Mm-hmm. And if you want to change membership, you have to write to both churches that uko unataka kutoka na uko unataka kwenda then they communicate then they move your name so that you can be an active member of the church even when you move there oh that's what because mm. there was a case of someone who was saying they were being asked they were moving churches mm. and at the time they were being asked to pay tithe for both churches yeah there's that too yeah and see so, <laughs> lo- <laughs> so local church budget wanaangalia this is new ini nyama mpya imeleta sadaka ah, so yeah. kuna zaka na kuna sadaka mm-hmm. yeah there's tithe and there's offering yeah, yeah. so ukienda hiyo church nyingine wapeleka sadaka nzuri sadaka zetu ni centralized so hakuna gati ile ni ya hii kanisa mm. kenye inabaki ni offering A local church budget pretty much in the back. Tithe is tithe in Endaga straight up. National government. No, oh, yeah, goes to, to the general the, the, to the, 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 the national in this in case we have county governments and national mm. government. Mm. Tithe is what is under national offering does it about the county. Yeah. And what Ata si offering yote local church budget peke. Oh. Yeah. Hiyo hizo zingine zote ziko na kazi pia. They are signed already. Yeah. So, unapata If you're stricken from the book of the church you have to get rebaptized to come back. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is everything giving root or like he gets st- the same cabinet in his God damn it. <laughs> He's using the church whatever. Do you know imagine one day you are an elder the next day you're not mm. and you have to come back because elders are the ones who do the uh, baptism classes. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Imagine now you have to come back go through baptism class. Mm. Then you will come and before. Ufunzwe. 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 Hi. But don't people I think I, I I got to a point where I I made peace with the fact that people who are deep into faith have have a humiliation kink of sorts. Absolutely. Cuz ain't no way. Ain't mm. no for way me, you're taking some to. of those things. Hi. Yeah humiliation kink and there's a conversation we've been having about how the only time when you're having conversations about queer people mm-hmm. the only time uh, men become uncomfortable is if you insinuate uncomfortable with each other is if you insinuate queerness mm-hmm. but also church embodies the aspect of how men thrive in other men's glory mm-hmm. They just do, watch yeah. just sit and watch yeah just sit and observe the concept of like for example i mean i'll always uh, depart from catholicism because that's what i knew uh to be a priest in catholic like to be a priest to be uh to be a catechist to be these these roles that play fundamental continuation of catholicism they are held by men 
Yeah. And then when it comes to the to the serving roles, it's where we have the nuns, my sisters mm. and all. And for them, their specific role there is to serve the men. Yeah. But only men commune with each other. And the depths of it is that the foundations of this is very gross because then that's where we begin to have conversations about cases of uh, defilement and pedophilia that happen within the Catholic Church. Mm. And then like even the concept of elders it's how in catholic church women elders are not a thing men elders are a thing and they sit together and addressing different issues like you know pedophilia defilement yeah. and all that kind of stuff they sit and they laugh about it and they consider it a non issue mm. it's only when you insinuate homosexuality oh, yeah, yes. that's when yeah. they'll be like hey stay away from me yeah. but other than than that they commune they they share mm. everything all together later brotherly love yeah, yeah. yeah. and <laughs> you know what what um piggy banking off your whatever your point yeah you've just brought up the idea that i also felt like church was not advocating for women it wasn't church ever. was a very oppressive place for women and mm. i remember there's someone who even gave the the example of uh the pope whatever mm. See they were now calling out that the pope would, would be gay. Mm -hmm. But they you'd rather have a gay, gay. person who well, imagine how queerness how is demonized queer, yes. but you'd rather have, have a, a gay, gay pope man as a than, pope a woman. than a woman. That's how deep I yeah. I, I got to understand how yeah. church is not for women and for us there was there were things that Maybe to say my to me mini I'm a lazy girl that's why I clocked on this one but I was just like why is it always us doing the pastor na fa kusaviwa there's an outreach where people are supposed to be to th these things service yeah. service was very much women and if i look at what men are doing or oh, they've assembled to pray for the women who've gone for outreach ah <coughs> It's okay. <laughs> you will be okay. But, but it's it's not it's not uh there's a that's one way to look at it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Although there's uh it's it's usually like uh come uh, there's uh, hard labor. Mm -hmm. Something men will be more capable of doing than they do it alafu unapata kama become a division of labor kind of thing, kind of sort of. Although mm -hmm. it in a in over extent to a point where if your roles in this division of labor yeah i seem to be less than mm. yeah you don't get church leadership you don't get all that all that all that all that and that's where now the sexism comes in mm. yeah so na pata kama role yako ni kunipakulia chakula na yangu ni ya kuinua heavy things yeah who's the leader <laughs> <laughs> and also yeah. on your on your same point mm. church and free services i know kama unacheza guitar kwa kanisa please lipwa You're doing it for good. Unatoka kwenye unatoka you take your time. Oh yeah, by the way, you, what's you up with that? Transport, yeah. you get there for practice. I don't know how many times you go for practice during the week before you now play on yeah. church on Sunday. Yeah. You're not being given anything. This there also are applies who I know to are this, sleeping hungry. Yeah. And they play for the church. This you also applies to choir. organizations, individuals who think they're entitled to your labor. It's literally the same concept. Ah, yeah. 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 They feel like, "Come, I'm giving you exposure. Dude, I'm exposed. That's how you met me. That's how you know about <laughs> Me. <laughs> pay me pay me for that shit my, 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 me. my landlord does not accept exposure <laughs> my landlord yeah. now knows me because i'm exposed and i can't pay my landlord <laughs> do you even have come on now yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm exposed enough just pay me i'll find exposure somewhere else but i've always wondered <laughs> you in the, i think in the adventist church the best you'll have is a pianist or a keyboardist yeah and uh it ends there But then uh, as this uh, <laughs> because our church we uh, had people we had youth volunteering uh, to wash the church and I'm thinking right now there was funds that there was offerings mm -hmm. this church was making money there were what is it called the church has opened schools yeah. the church has opened a hotel mm -hmm. the the parking lot is being used as a, a car park during the so they charge for parking during yeah. the week and on Sundays youth can offer to wash cars and that is paid there is money that's being collected from this church but somehow you can't afford to hire cleaners yeah and of course for you to need a volunteer for that role it means you're recognizing there's a gap make it a position yeah. come have an arrangement of a salary 
get people to do it and pay them. But you know what I realized? The church is thriving on ignorance because there's a time I argued with my mom and her, she, I was telling her, why are you sending money to the church? I was so mad. That sleeper would have found you. That sleeper would have found you. Because I find your podcast a trauma. I think Bunny is sleeping over here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Well god that I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I think in akuja but i um, we were arguing over i mm. told my mom stop sending money to church money, the church has money mm. and our church is organized like yeah yeah mm. the adventist mm. there's a central system and there's way there's branches there's whatever mm. i was telling my mom pastors are pastors have a salary my mom refused My mom believes the way it's written in the Bible. Ni ule Elijah mwanyalilishwa na sijui mama mgani kwa desert. They believe that it's our role to make sure the pastors are okay. Na si mshahara hiyo ni kumsai ni kum. So it's you who has that's why it's now it all came back to me and I realized you know in our church in AIC when a pastor comes in hey hiyo pia ni another whole whatever. <laughs> when a pastor comes in They are, they are they are built for a church they are built for a house yeah. they are built for a built. car uh, yeah. yes permanent yeah. residence so later on when i met a so friend so the pastor to uh, for that church to death so here comes now the explanation for that see you're supposed to do you're supposed to be circulated mm. there you yeah. are yeah. evil so i met a friend later on in life when i was 23 And her, her dad is the pastor to another AIC church that's mm-hmm. not as elite as ours. Mm-hmm. And she says for you to be a pastor at our church you must have played major politics. And once you get there there's literally fighting and all of that for someone to stay in that mm-hmm. church because of the packs that that particular branch mm-hmm. offers. And her father has seen the most outside here. Akiwa mm. yati yeye and serve Mungu faithfully. While being a pastor in the very same church that even I go to. So you understand the dynamics of church the faith is not for poor people. When they say your mansion is in heaven, you understand why they didn't say yeah. Ashanti. If you're living in Ashanti here on earth, faith is not for you. <laughs> as much as it's the Just opium struggle. as much as it's the opium <laughs> for the ma- <coughs> yeah <laughs> it's the opium for the masses but let me tell you something unajua hata kwetu they reshuffle the pastors yeah of course pia wao unajua tu vile wakisi wanapenda shamba hiyo nimejua leo awanagi shamba mahali na ikae tu watanunua yeah and they'll buy the whole block all of them eh uh-huh. so definitely most passes will be majority kisi lu mm-hmm. etc oh by the way fun fact do you know most people think that sda is the only denomination in kisi as in among the kisi community i wanted to say Same that yeah, when you were talking about there, I there are more catholics than sdas i was in oh. yeah <laughs> we had a cardinal When I was <laughs> when <laughs> presentation guy, you know, at Otunga. Otunga, yes, Cardinal Otunga. Otunga. And then Nini when I was in high school Said the only believed SDA is only for KC. Yeah. Or other KC there. Na kuimba kwa kitu. I never understood it. And <laughs> then when <laughs> And then when I left high school <laughs> is when I learned Okay, not when I learned. Mm. I learned a new reality. And until today I've only ever known SDA to be only for kisses and luos. Uh, True. Yeah. Yep. Same here. It's, it's global. <laughs> I'm actually yet to meet even with my 31 years I'm yet to meet Akikuyu SDA. Uh, we had a lot of those. We had a lot of those. When he was explaining that's why mm. he was Yeah, that's why I was, was like, explaining and was saying Akikuyu was like you have Kikuyu. <laughs> yeah, we, we had a lot of those even Embus even uh, That's quite interesting. Yeah, you see Nairobi is metropolitan. Yeah. The church should be very diverse. Unapata It ranges from some Bukusu guy to or downright to some someone from Embu some mm. Kuyo going all the way to coast to Napata kuna watu mm-hmm. and uh, it might not be the dominant religion in some areas but mm-hmm. in some of course you'll mm-hmm. always find that one group of people yeah yeah so 
eh mambo ya dini unajua the politics yenye mlikuwa tunasema before we digressed uh, it's so bad that it shows you exactly who people are unapata yes. mtu mm. akona resources za kanisa si pesa yake <laughs> si pesa yake resources za kanisa mm. unapata na the limit just so that they can play politics yeah mm. uh, unapata unajua elders kwetu hawalipwi uh-huh. elders don't get paid they only get to manage things that i don't even at sidani zinakuwa na any kickback if they just want power yeah, yeah that's true that power tu ndio wanataka so in bigger churches smaller churches as naga so much politics when it comes to today you are an elder tomorrow you can be a deacon tomorrow you can be something else something else something else mm. big churches unapata wako na elders kama 20 yeah and to get to that 20 Ju sasa unajua wewe utakuwa umekalia kiti kwa church board mm. utakuwa umefa eh kwanza sasa hapo kwa church board ndio politics sasa uko imeingia ime hivi vizuri the capitalist uko <laughs> ndio wanafu huko hao ndio watu wa kufukuza watu kanisa hao <laughs> 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 ndio watu wa hao ndio disciplinarians sijui wanafanya nini by the yeah, if you ever get, get if you ever get to sit in a church board as an, as an observer mm you will see the true colors of the people leading you mm. in that church because suddenly they want to condemnize any dissenting voice mm. suddenly uh, you see the youth have a lot of growing pains eh yeah unapata show them the way badala ya kuwa kuwafanya ni kama wakae ni kama hawana independent thought mm. ama they can't know better mm. show them the way then badala ya kuwa repress Yeah. So unapata hizo church bodies hizo. Karibu nitupe mayai huko. <laughs> Because I was also I really it really and uh, it brings us I think to the topic why we you know grew away you from the left, church because yeah. these people are very I, hateful bwana. I've always questioned if people of the cloth really do believe in God. I also asked them. I've always felt like they must be atheist because there's no way they believe in the existence of hell. I, and I, they still do the things they do or rather consequences. Especially in the name of God. Yeah, there's there's no way they You want to tell me Ruto believes. I I I, I, I never I don't I don't even associate them with atheism because I feel like there's an aspect of feeling 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 whatever emotions you feel towards people and kindness and all that with the atheists mm. i feel like there's a level of for now the only the only vivid but also uh you know reference that i can use that makes sense to everyone like cops the way they operate mm. it's like it's like, like the whole script of their job is to be unhinged to not care to not give a shit to to not feel mm. to and in cases where you do it's when you become that cop that easily leaves or loses their job or no, gets to, no, no, no. or like something will just <laughs> give but yeah. in the grand scheme of things it's almost as if they have to not care and again mm. like i said i'll use being a catholic as an example if if there was an ounce of care in them given how we are told religion is or the foundation the what we are told is the foundation of religion and the belief in god and church and all that mm. why then is a lot of violence happening within church mm. like how is the same person saying they're teaching you the way to the lord mm. the same person who is a pedophile mm. and th- There's many things we can attach to that he's an abuser we can leave yes. that there but like where is the part where it's a child you don't want to protect that child you want to harm mm. that child where is the part where you are supposed to be the one who show, who helps this child figure their life out mm. and while when they're in church when they're in the pulpit they're standing there children are seen as this you know children are angels yeah, yeah. they're a gift and all that but the like immediately they to. go behind that closed door behind the pulpit and they remove their whatever whether they remove it or not i do not know <laughs> <They are laughs> but like whatever happens what changes 
that the same person you say has an ounce of love towards humanity in general because they make us believe that they're guiding us through being good human beings and what humanity is but like where does that humanity get lost you can't tell me it's a thing you can wear and remove anytime you feel like akitoa tu your castle kid in fangs zinatokea you can't tell me like ulimi na kwa split you can't tell me someone can be it's like use an example of serial killers yes they do kill because they're cold hearted but they end up being caught because it's not easy to keep up that facade all your life so the fact that these people are able to keep up that facade to their deaths mm. i had an aunt probably one of the things that gave me so much peace is not having the association i had with my family anymore because there's so much bullshit to make reference from i had an aunt who had children with a catholic father Mm-hmm. And the family knew Pardon. to yes the look say my father just try and yeah the reason yeah. i say father is because be <laughs> a little specific because no, because no, father no, father ni baba no, the reason i say father <laughs> is because anyone who is a catholic knows when i talk a father yeah, i know yeah. but as in a father will yes, also be father, yeah. the priest <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have an aunt who had children with him and to the congregation and like people within the same locality it was a rumor mm-hmm. but to the family it was known mm-hmm. and she would go to clubs with this man mm-hmm. and they would sit and drink and it was difficult for people you know people gaslight themselves into believing that couldn't be him mm-hmm. he he can't even be in a be, club yeah, you know and so And then you grow up and you realize that's some fuck shit that mm. I believed then I was like what what do you guys mean and how does this person then constantly finds a way to have the courage the confidence to stand in front of people yeah. <laughs> which is another thing living the church is man. just telling yourself bitch you can't be stupid anymore <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know this shit you know who these people are and that that plays into the point of um, okay i don't know why i've come across these videos so many of them yeah. when people are saying religion breeds lack of accountability yes. a lot of people will do things to people they'll do the worst things and then they'll come and say it was the devil mm-hmm. ama mungu sasa amenibadilisha what about the child you abused what about the person who's fighting through therapy and yeah. trauma because you did something to them but now you god has forgiven you and that's something that a lot of people need to look at and realize that that will continue to harm you because christians are out here telling doing the most mm-hmm. and then them they know so long as god will forgive them so you can imagine even them going into the world knowing that they don't owe you an apology or an accountability they mm-hmm. owe only god and they mm-hmm. always say it only god can judge me only god judgment is for the lord vengeance is for the lord they until you're revenging upon them christians are counting on lack on religion to to just escape accountability a lot of times and i don't know when people will clock it because i've even seen someone literally jana on facebook i can be leave it to god vengeance is for the lord <laughs> and i'm saying be petty <laughs> god if go for an if god <laughs> comes and revenges two times a revenge is better than nothing god, god <laughs> forgives i don't <laughs> simple you said that and i remember this post i did and i was so pissed it was just on July 5th this just because of this protest yeah. and I, i i it was after ruto had made his his statement the first statement Calling and then he comes criminals. yes and he says we are we are you know treasonous, doing treasonous activities mm. and then he comes back to apologies and i was like no apologies vindi- apologies vindicate the perpetrator mm. but it never restores a victim mm. his apology never brought back the people he killed in fact he has gone ahead to kill more Mm. and that's mm. the the problem i have with the church too church makes apologies seem like a grand thing mm. and literally ignores accountability it is see, sorry so if you if you apologize mm. you're good nobody mm. thinks of the victim nobody mm. th- and i speak this hugely like i was saying going through different tragedies i speak hugely as a person who not only did i realize church is not with me so i don't have a reason to build the church but also there's so much trauma that church caused mm-hmm. there's so much violence that happened and church was the foundation of why it was okay for me Just, yeah. to go through that violence and so i look at it and i'm like 
you people take apologies seriously and everyone apologizes to everyone except the victims mm. cuz you even those, confess yes. you go and make confessions Confession in front to a of priest. Child, why leave? can't you go confess to the person cuz the person yeah. who you harmed said you harmed them and everyone just lead them into believing it wasn't true cuz you said it wasn't true but you're going to make a confession to the priest you're forgetting the <laughs> most important confession is to the person you harmed but make, look at make you, amends yes. look at the guy who used to harvest women's breasts Yeah. And now yeah. he's doing a media tour telling people what he used to and you're laughing. And now because he's found God. He's, he's literally confessing something that he should be in jail for. Mm-hmm. On media you have evidence. If right now he was to be taken to jail, you have to use any of his interviews that he's gone to to put him in jail. But because tour. this person is has now come out after he's left that life, he's now confessing to the entire world. People have lost lives, people have been in hospital, people their lives have completely changed because of something you are doing. Mm. Now you've come to do a media interview of how God has saved you from all the harm you've you caused to people. Kwa kaburi siju ama ilikuwa mgeni. Ah, kujifunika. Wakuiba kaburi. There was this one man alikuwa hapa downtown kuna ubiri vile alikuwaaga kitambo anaingia kwa coffee ni anafanya upuzi gani you know what radicalized me what really pushed me to the edge edge ile is when now i decided to go deeper and find out about church history yeah. eh, 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 my lord <laughs> more people have been killed in the name of god, god. than than anything than else, anything else. Yes. yani ile tu unaona kinyo mnaongelea kuhusu accountability ina mm. ili kwa out of the window colonialism mm. same thing they really did a number on us yeah. or in the course of about 50 years or so with just colonialism and missionary bullshit yeah. mm. they give you a bible unafunga macho ukifungua you don't have your lands <laughs> and, common s- and common it's sense really uh, <laughs> and common sense has flown out of the window Yeah. Even now as we come to more recent times unapata the church dictates there's this unholy marriage between the church and state mm. that is very bad that is not even constitutional to yeah, yeah it shouldn't both are yeah. very independent how did we have 200 intercessors hired on tax payer man no alikuwa nakula kama kwa 150 200 per month or even how did we get to places where leaders especially presidents don't assent bills to laws before they speak to church leaders Imagine. That is the most unconstitutional shit ever. And Kenya is not a Christian country. It's not a Christian People state. It's a secular state. Oh. Yeah. Kenya is a secular state. Guys, we you got to do better. Mm, Kenya is a secular state. You see the way you you can you see this country is ambazo the, the religion is a, is a fundamental part mm. of Kenya. Sasa unaona hapo kuita my mom so that you can know this was not genuinely them looking for community yeah. mm-hmm. community to contribute as semi public participation in that way hii walitaka tu ku jisut wenyewe mm-hmm. waseme mungu anasema aje kuhusu hii mambo mungu wako si wa huyu huyu wa huyu ndo tunakubalia ndo tunakubali for yeah. now <laughs> do you guys ever see us having a having a uh, say a president of a muslim um uh, islam mnaona tukiwahi kuwa na rais muislam kweli i've never even it thought will, about it but then now that you've asked i don't i have thought it will be the closest to yeah, say it will be the closest. <laughs> <laughs> i have thought about it yeah. and how i think about it is it's not impossible mm. see like the way we've started And I know there's not many of us. We like to think there's many of us, but many of you are like, now things seem better. You all settle for shit. That's why mm-hmm. you're still with your toxic partners. You still <laughs> hang on to your exes Finya. that were terrible. Finya. Finya. You still mm-hmm. think your parents are amazing when all they've ever done is abuse you. <laughs> you, st- you you settle so much yet you have this one life that you're supposed to live it like mm-hmm. it's your stage because it really is. 
But yeah. here you are settling. And I think if we all went by what we are asking for currently, when we are saying Ruto must go, we are saying we want Ruto gone and we want everything that has to do with the leaders we've known as leaders gone. Mm-hmm. We don't mind pulling Onezwa or Narasmith. Nara Which side, whichever side you are, it's okay, guys. Kama mm-hmm. uko Onezwa, bado ni scratch. Kama ni Narasmith, bado ni scratch. Ama ni foraging. Venye hapa na even if you go forage for your leaders, can we just be confident enough to begin foraging for this shit? Like, can mm-hmm. we go to the ground? Because there's a lot of young people doing amazing work. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of young people holding big organizations and they're doing proper leadership jobs. These mm-hmm. people are capable of leadership. Yeah. All they change is the office. All they change is the mandate. But all they're doing is the same thing. It's leadership. Mm-hmm. But you hang on and thinking. I've had so many people asking, after Ruto goes, what do we do? God went and we are here, we are fine. See, you mm. people believe God came and went. Where did he go? Because he's not listening to you people. We God. And our skis are quelly. To get kuwa hapa kama ngekuwa na to skis. Watasema you're being ableist. I'm being ableist too. <laughs> he's probably deaf. <laughs> <laughs> if they come for you, I'm not... <laughs> Even even if he is deaf sign language guys hey, have, we, have we not help been, out. have we not been doing all the signs that to mechoka na ruto na uwezi tutolea but you are letting that yeah. man use you oh, as you Kwanza, we, we have mentioned something very nice what's with these churches <laughs> in the estates Bla- yeah, 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 yeah. blaring music at odd hours Sunday, anyway, sun, anyway. Sunday mzima hata uwezi kaa kwa nyumba. And where did the regulation for not having churches within ka. residential? Mkipata hii video YouTube, mkiscroll, mkitafuta God wenyi na izaleta jo nimetaja God. Utukufu sanctuary. Zimeni hiyo kitu. Zime. Zimeni hiyo kitu. Mnatupea stress. Ni, 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 ni mbichi, ni mbichi. <laughs> Because why do you have to shout at the top of your voices if he actually hears the thoughts of your heart? <laughs> Oh yeah. 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 Watu wengine. Okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Shout. Eka soundproof kwa chachi yenu mwache kutupigia right. kilele bana. Ju imagine ingekuwa ni club iko hapo kando hiyo Kalisa. Ama unilipi rent. <laughs> right? Because they're right in your ear on a Sunday afternoon una ukwa uko. Manze. There's a whole week coming you're trying to rest. In midnight. Kwanza leo ni leo ni Friday. Jana walikesha usiku mzima. Ni Friday. Wait. Then on Saturday. Oh, hey. Come on, angalia YouTube. Yeah, please. Good for them, but please. Uh, I just want to wa wa fung hizo horn speaker wanafunga kwa marufu za kanisa wa mm. face them inwards give us a break mm. namoke so if, if they really like really hearing the saying if we streamline if we streamline our governance in the yeah. country these things would not exist exactly. because there I, i if i remember right there was either a bill or a, or a law Nema. where churches cannot be in the, residential in areas me yeah. i'm very keen when i'm looking for houses and the house that i got right now i got it and i asked and i walked for a few kilometers to find story. out if there's a church and there was no church yeah. tell me why six months eight months <laughs> there's a church now <laughs> tell me why come baby come we will show you things hijajengwa literally me i saw one day a tent is being put up i was like eh is it labda ni mtu amenena labda ni gig labda ni gig labda ni gig friday kesha sasa God has a kink for pain. He does. He just wants you people to go every day mpige magoti muombe muombe. Hata job yako haiko hivyo. Ukienda job mwezi mzima unalipwa. And if you are lucky mnalipanga every week. <laughs> Lakini <laughs> Mungu unakufa na uchochole tunaomba eti God eti Anajua eti, ni kwa nini? Eti God God 
wanasema ngaja god tests his strongest soldier why again it's why you are still i am not you strong are... <laughs> leave me alone i'm not strong strongest soldier where to go where eti anakujaribu jo anajua unaweza of course anajua unaweza ndo anajua utavumilia battle why is Come every on. day I... Ni wow. lini utawin ni lini atakupea chenye unauliza watu wengine hata muulizi vitu mingi unauliza tu upewe school fees ya mtoto wako ukiangalia vizuri school fees not even being greedy school fees ni 6k <laughs> per term lakini hata ku make hiyo 6k mtoto wako anashinda kifukuzwa shule alafu you are here telling me god god what Mungu, Mungu anajua sababu just go to kwa work kwa nini kwa nini na haya <laughs> <laughs> Go to work negotiate <laughs> with your boss so that your salary is better so that you can somehow comfortably pay school fees for your mm. child 6000 and still pay rent and still pay do other things including taking yourself out to have fun because let me tell you when you hakujangi home kwako hata club hakujangi hakuna kitu kufanyikia and mm. there was a research that was done that said Scandinavian countries are less religious yeah. because their government provides what That yeah, yeah exactly. So your school fees uko ime provide you know, government. Do. That's why they're not praying Access to God. Access to health care eco. The only so, thing you'll be praying for is eternal life which <laughs> the government can't give can't you. Can't give you <laughs> eternal life too. Yeah. They can just give you good health care yeah. and all that but yeah. they can't give you eternal life. Do you know I equate people's relationship with God. Wiki tumesema ni amana sana. I equate people's relationship with God as an abusive partnering yeah yeah stockholm syndrome uh, uh, kind of sort of <laughs> ulianza vizuri ulianza na roho na malizi na kila kitu si mwili pekee sasa imagine uh, if, uh, say for instance mm-hmm. if you're in a relationship with this person yeah the the work dynamics up the friendship dynamics up your mom used to teach us those. <laughs> <laughs> group group dynamics <laughs> your friendship dynamics in that case unapata ni um, with uh, an omnipotent you, it's a relationship with an omnipotent being mm-hmm. omnipresent mm-hmm. Uh, all the omnis <laughs> <laughs> yeah if he's all powerful all seeing all mighty oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah why are people dying of hunger Mm-hmm. Like hata tutoe ruto kwa equation njaa. Yeah, 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 he's a he's a he's a grain of sand Flat in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. Bro, you well, have power stop this shit you killing us. Sasa. And if it's God trying to send you a message, why is he sending it like? Sia tu SMS, we have technology for it. Mbona wa drown? Wenye watu wenye wanaiba ni kina Ruto, mbona si drown? And they end up living longest. Ah wanyona torture watu. They end up to be living the longest lives, best lives yeah. ever. Mm-hmm. Their children prosper and flourish and all that. Let me tell you, unajua kama iko na relationship na umse. Nashinda nimemtumia messages hajibu. Ni blue ticks, hata si blue, by then ile tick moja. Hata ujui kama kuna ujui kama kuna simu anymore. The is dead. One thing I say, is that this person well god nikikosho kuna mtu amekasa huko kwa the other side of the screen it's either what at the side of baphomet kwa hiyo manze conspiracy theorists they are wanakula fiti so imagine eventually at some point you have to ask yourself uh what i see prayer to be is a conversation with yourself yes to find more clarity Yeah mm. there's a way it quiets uh, the noise yeah yeah meditation it's more of a meditation yeah. kind of thing yeah by talking to it, talking about it or uh, saying it out loud sometimes you end up manifesting it yeah mm. in a way that hey by they saying it makes it more real mm. kind of thing unajua i i see prayer as that mm. the only way you won't look crazy when you're talking to yourself is by adding a recipient <laughs> right <Yeah. laughs> so when i tell people so you're glad i can yeah. say you're like crazy yeah. <laughs> they are definitely crazy <laughs> but what they won't accept is that they're actually practically talking to themselves to yeah and it's okay it's okay you know, it, it has a purpose it serves mm-hmm. i i sometimes say it's good by the 
it's not at completely uh bad that religion exists it's, it's mm. not organized I, religion has for yeah. a while now provided um community uh, com- community it has brought people together yeah. there's good things Sanity. that it does it has built schools that look like prison camps that's okay too because people get to study <laughs> You you really have to work hard to find yes. something good to say about the church. You really have to work <laughs> very hard to find something good to say because yeah. well there's one thing anybody who went to a uh, school built by the church will mm. tell you. Yeah. Yo yo it was a camp. It was a camp. But that's besides the point. Yeah. Uh, if he exists, he's totally blue ticking us. Mm. Great. Oh, one tick even. Great, At this yeah. point, I'll end. I'll move on. Mm. Mm. If he exists, he has to be the most cruel person ever to just see bad things happening, happening to the to people him. that he claims yeah. to very much love, yeah. and that his love lasts forever and all that yeah. bullshit. Yeah. If he exists, kuna vitu mingi sana hatunge itaji intervention ya kata from big to, from yeah. the beginning it's true aya au wenye wanasema hao ndio wenye kuamini sana now where christianity came from yeah mm-hmm. wamepitia shida mingi sana hii dunia <laughs> <laughs> wamepitia shida mingi sana bwana well, how do you mean you are the chosen people mm-hmm. the god of abraham the god of jacob <laughs> And, and all the, the other tw- and all the other 12 yeah. sons. Mm-hmm. How do you mean will you uh Bukapitia desert longest route ever by the if you check uh, somewhere 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 where you should have taken about a week about a week on foot to get there. They took so many days that two generations zili daddy. Do you see the children of your <laughs> children they wanna fika they wanna the children of your children they wanna fika mahali mnafaa kwenda through had at the end wanaongoza either gps yake ilikuwa mbovu saidi ama the something was off all knowing eh we all knowing huyo <laughs> huyo something was off haya yeah. wachana na hiyo because there's no concrete proof that slavery really happened in egypt mm. but uh, we move yeah mm. but they remember it that way mm. Mm. <laughs> recollections may vary <laughs> yeah, <my people> go. <laughs> recollections may vary but there's no concrete evidence that it probably uh, didn't it however mm. is it is happening here right what now. i know happened we are here we are being slaves yeah. for no reason what i know happened for sure mm-hmm. what i know happened is uh remember uh, concentration camps mm. what happened to them mm. yeah. europe european jews were likapitia mm. But on the chosen people yeah. it really shows you who mwenye yeah. mnasema anawapenda anawapenda aje yeah. right you will let someone who anyway eventually yeah see wame scatter across the world wamekuwa reduced by numbers or grow again wakapewa yeah. kashamba kadogo sasa hiyo ndio oppressors yeah anyway thank you for politics to it's, it's, evil. but imagine these are the people who claim to be the godliest of the godliest yeah. Around you the basis or at they actually shun christianism down mm. to the basis of the god we are trying to the, believe the, in yeah that's yeah. what you for them christianity the messiah the messiah hasn't come for them yet so it's cool <laughs> yeah but yo you claim to love an all loving god and all caring god and then you do these things to other human people, beings and i tell people like yeah. you're, you know you you've gone even love your neighbors you love yourself what happened to that thank you be very be very look at it from i mean it's in the torah to right day. yeah what are na hata hiyo mambo ya people we, we are lazy in kenya people might not want to read or find out the truth because our parents are that old and they my mother didn't know at her age pastors wana lipwa so you can imagine the level of ignorance we are dealing with we're not asking you to go research it's systemic just ignorance. normal things <laughs> the way the way i sat down and asked myself okay god is blessing me why isn't god blessing adrian mm. and to me that didn't make sense and that was enough for me to step back mm. Because I was like just look at the things you're doing every day. Okay. Mungu ametuma floods itufunze. Imetufunza nini? Why would he why why would he punish us like that to teach mm. us a lesson? Like there's a there's a better way even you as a parent. 
how do you teach your kids? Do you teach your kids by drowning them? There's, there's easier ways that you can see God in your day-to-day mm. life. And that extremism should make you question at some yeah. point. They say, they say at a God is light. And I normally tell people, I think me living, living church was intentional and it's a choice I made. Mm. But I think I've been preached for more when I'm out of church than I'm in church. And I normally ask these people, mm. why are you pursuing me? You say God is light. If I saw light, trust me, I'll go and where light to it. is. Yeah. But like, why do you that keep... Why do people keep following me? Immediately, I sit in a room, even if I'm not talking to these people, mm. but they get to learn they a bit about me out. and they know. Now they feel entitled to come and tell me. In fact, there's a lady. I don't remember her name. I remember where I met her, but I don't want to say that because... Yeah, mm. but she kept on telling yeah. me from the way you speak, mm. you will make a very good pastor. I'm like, are you? T- I just told her, God forbid. Oh, I get that a lot. I, I get just that. Only you'd God make a perfect Christian. Tell your God to forbid that she she can't make me a pastor. <laughs> because what what do you mean? And the concept of it for me, I think the biggest struggle is, and you, you highlighted that, the concept of talking to yourself, mm. the concept of God and belief in religion, all of it kind of makes you see something or someone as bigger all the time at your own expense. Mm. Something is happening. The concept of self-med, where people were coming out and saying, I, I'm self-med, I worked hard, I invested, or I started a business from mm. scratch, and now I'm here. And Christians will insert themselves in that and be like, you can't say you're, not sent, you. you're self-med, God, God made it possible. Well, God must be very lazy because there's many business people who are failing. Mm. And then I put a lot of effort, I was smart, I was consistent, I was ve- like... I had terrible times because my business has failed like 10 times. And mm-hmm. then you're here telling me it's God. Why well, was God the 10 times I was failing? Because I didn't deserve to fail the 10 times. You know, mm-hmm. you know the problem is uh, we have this collective imaginary friend. <laughs> <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> He's but our bestie. All e- of us. Ev- eventually, it became a collective consciousness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In, uh, even without being told, you start feeling like Okay, maybe you see you can't conclusively say that he doesn't exist, yeah? Mm-hmm. Because as in you know, you wanna things we can't see. Yeah, <laughs> you are, yeah? some kids see what I'm gonna shake a hair on a cup. But like it's none of my business. But isn't that evidence that God is people? Uh, exactly. I was getting to that. A, yeah. You see now, uh what what gap does God fill in uh in the human existence? Number one. The mystery of life and death. Mm-hmm. Yes? It makes sense. Very difficult to explain, even though we you know it's just sperm and ovaries and birth Six. canal done. <laughs> hey, right? <laughs> we we know <coughs> we know that's how life happens. Product now, of what he likes calling the, uh, the bigger one that is harder to explain yeah. is not even death. Mm-hmm. It's what happens after death. Mm-hmm. That's where God comes in also. But like, why do I people know. care so much for those things? Yeah, it's because, it's because there's that fear of, an, of the unknown. Mm-hmm. Fear of the before. Where was I before? Uh, and where where will I be after? You are it's somewhere in your father's knees. It's literally yeah. that he hasn't come <laughs> sex yet. We, uh, <laughs> we all knew that, yeah? But then again, <laughs> the, the, the concept of life and death makes... People want to believe in God very badly, yeah. And, and it's then, okay. It's okay to find your it, uh, center <clears throat> in something, and that's fine. Spiritualism is very healthy mm-hmm. because it's more of being aware of and it's, conscious it, of your it, inner it, self. It, it, yeah. yeah. Why I'm saying this person, uh, God is man-made in this way. Angalia, every community that had uh, their deity, local deity, yeah. alikuwa alikuwa of their own complexion, mm. and. Uh, yeah, look yeah. either come on, if the society was matriarchal mm. it was a goddess mm. yeah if the society the was, looked, eh, yeah. the god god's imitated looks, looks like in, eh, the, our social it's, setup it's a literal mm. extension of who you are exactly mm. yeah you look at them you see yourself they now, look at you they see themselves now you see that's the reason why it's man-made if you stop believing 
they stop existing. Yeah. It's as simple, simple as that. As that. Stop believing, they stop existing. And now that's the scariest part. Because once I stop believing and they stop existing, where am I like, going to live my eternal life? Be eh? no, 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 no. And that's, that's my biggest Could problem. Could be anymore, Kenya. There's a lot my, to do yeah, with my biggest after. Problem, <laughs> my biggest problem with people who are super religious mm-hmm. is the fact that they don't understand that morality does not come from Christianity. Yeah. Yani. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Uni mse God akisema akuwe atakuwa That's true. As no, in, no, in, the, no, no, in the in the little voices in their head. Yeah. <laughs> and they conceive that to be God atakumada. Yeah. But how ni kuna live and let live kind of harmony here going on. If I harm you and you harm me what kind of society do we have yeah. here? Yeah. Eh, yeah. morality tu kidogo wanafikiria it has to come from the 10 commandments. No. Yeah. It's not founded on the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are founded on basic morality concepts. It's mm. literally a research concept. Basic Someone morality looked at concepts. people and saw what are the things people value the most. Then did mm. reverse sita, psychology. Nani sitaki, sitaki nifanyiwe. Yeah. Sitafanyiana. <laughs> literally, yeah. Simple. Lakini pia akajidanganya kwa sababu then alisema sitafanyiana then went ahead to build a whole yeah. system yeah. that is founded on yeah. zero accountability. So now you see. That's the thing I'm saying. Easy vitu. Mm. Uh, we have man-made problems from from up yeah. <laughs> in yeah. heaven to down below. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. And God. we and we are here mm. and I feel like also it it highlights the Okay, si say si tasema pole. The intellectual laziness that people somehow are comfortable in. Mm. Like you see it every day you have daily experiences. And like you said, spirituality is very important because it heightens your ability to be aware about who you are as a person but also the environment you occupy. And that's a beautiful thing because um when you have that then then you, you sort of have the capacity to decipher so many things around you that mm-hmm. an average person won't be able to do that because they're constantly thinking if something happens and be a god in fact god gas lights you into apologizing because in the same way he tells you najaribu my strongest soldier is the same way he tells you umesahau mungu when something bad is happening to you go mm-hmm. apologize for literally nothing and i remember was it sometime last year or last year but one it's why i stopped following this swiri nyarkano person mm. because there's an episode she did akisema when you are sick like when your body is sick you are responsible for it your thoughts and all that kind of stuff and i'm like dude mm. in what world is someone sitting and i think i was more vulnerable and more emotional then cuz i think it was last year but one 2022 mm. and it was barely a year since my diagnosis i'm still vulnerable i'm still maneuvering you know when you are living with chronic pain the, there's so much you're figuring out all at once and so i'm very vulnerable and then i'm watching my own tiktok using my own my data own using my own phone <laughs> my hard earned money to listen to someone tell me i am sick because of what i was thinking about mm-hmm. i don't remember thinking i i want to be sick i don't remember thinking that mm. and so when i was listening to that and i was like all that is okay because she's in her platform doing her thing but like we don't realize that how we exist as a, as a people there's so much that is happening in the world we see we experience we feel but we are constantly trapped for gen x's and lower it's a trope <laughs> i call it a trope cuz i know you understand that language better it's like in some, in some trope where it's it's a must to believe in something bigger than yourself mm-hmm. if must. you don't no like f- for most christians so yeah, yes. yeah. 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 so yeah. it's like it's a must lazima ni believe in something bigger than myself mm-hmm. because i'm not that big I'm, i'm i'm ridiculous to think i can be that big mm-hmm. and i'm like all the power you carry put in a pos- position where nobody should question your bigness because you ex- you exist as a human being mm. the fact that you exist that's just as much as the biggest it could ever get mm. and then now you have all these other worries you're like what happens after here you never worried about being here before you were here why are you worried about where you'll be, where you'll be before you this, get yeah. there 
Nobody cared before you got here. Mm. You got here, you cried the first thing because I'm sure you are realizing, oh shit. Yeah, what the hell? I fucked up. I imagine kuna mtoto alizaliwa le moro. I fucked up. You lie. You lie. Yeah, and then now the first thing you have to do is cry because you're like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. And now your whole life, you kind of find ways to minimize your capacity mm-hmm. as a human being over and over and over and over again and become a slave. Colonialism is one thing in it. Mm-hmm. See what I did there? Is <laughs> <laughs> one thing, but then there is you constantly colonizing yourself and mm. every working, it. every mm. day working day you remind yourself of how minute you are against the world that you're supposed yeah. to be the biggest thing to ever mm. exist and, and, it it Papa Roma and then now you tie that to this god that you believe mm. in and god is the one who has given me all these things do you remember the night night, night studies in high school when you suffered through those prep times and you are here invalidating your whole existence the warmer the bed the colder the future me i slept and i promise you now my your bed future. is still warm <laughs> the future prom- is fine <laughs> in fact niko na podcast <laughs> <laughs> what are you telling us in fact niko ko podcast but wait, you, said something, you said something about you've mentioned suri nyarkano mm-hmm. and i think i should also mention that that's why i said church or faith mm-hmm. we also have to be very careful mm-hmm. when we are living one thing for another for thing another that's thing. about the same thing because when yeah. when Sweden Yarkano began and she was going into um traditional African religion and she was exploring all of that it was very beautiful to just go to back and learn explore, our history yes. but then i saw her grow into an extreme what do, what do you call it that that religion of africa now yeah it's extreme to the sense that it's now not so different from yeah. what from you what left in christianity it's the same way going around making people victims of existing the way that they do and it's crazy mm. to watch things like that that like that happen and for me i think that's also the other thing because remember when i left a uh, church for a moment there between 2013 and 2014 i did say i'm an atheist mm. but then the the reason i got off that bus too and decided walking is best here because i see everything by myself i'm not being shown by nobody is because even with atheism mm. it's people who come together to not to not believe in god mm. and for me the whole concept of a belief outside of self is problematic yeah, thank you i just want and to i tell live. people whatever it is that you are yeah. the minute you are join a whatsapp group for that community yeah. is over yeah you are no longer you are no longer existing yeah. in your truth you are now yeah. you are now a, a group of people carrying a particular yeah. Yeah, uh, allow yourself to miss out like fomo is it's very okay. important because you're not really missing out it's things that have nothing to do with you Learn if, if they were supposed to happen to you for you and with you mm-hmm. trust me you wouldn't be feeling like you're missing out because you'll be right at the center of where it's happening but the mm-hmm. reason you're not there is because it has nothing to do with you yeah. so exist in yourself every day you wake up it's how we've come up with many when you're resting people say you're lazy and i'm like mm-hmm. lazy where we've been taught to please everyone except ourselves at all times, and small yeah. joys small things that give you happiness like a warm cup of tea at home even when you don't have a tv to just sit with your thoughts and think seems like a bad thing to do because mm. people are always expecting you to be going somewhere to be seeking something to be belonging somewhere mm. other than belonging to yourself first and learn to shed off guilt because yeah. that's the one thing that will leg you the most because if you if you are christian one even all of us can 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 bear witness if you yeah. were when we were when we started now distancing from the church there was a lot of guilt everything you did yes. you second guessed and yeah. there was a lot of am i going in the right way so learn to shed off guilt even as you choose things the same way you've said um sometimes you just want to sleep and sleep is associated with laziness laziness yeah you have to you have to choose to and learn guilt to do things for yourself and not feel guilty about it and this yeah. will apply to multiple things in your life when you get to a toxic workplace that you need to leave it's not about you not having i i don't know not being the 
the breadwinner of the family anymore. Mm. It's about you choosing your sanity and will figure it out and shed that guilt. Mm -hmm. When you need to cut off a particular family member because they're, they're, they're behaving funny, shed off that guilt. That Just guilt. I tell a lot of people, unlearn guilt because even these people, these perpetrators, I promise you Ruto goes to bed and sleeps. Okay. Now we will up, but you're lacking your brains over something that you've done yeah. for yourself. There's someone out there who's literally ruining lives and sleeps and they drool. So yeah. Um, and, and the best way to unlearn that guilt is when you learn to honor yourself. Yeah. The journey of honoring yourself sheds off a lot of guilt you feel for unnecessary things. Mm. You are like, it's even how the concept of emergency is founded on how people respond to you as opposed to how you respond to the said emergency. Like someone mm -hmm. will text you at 2 a.m. in the morning, babe, pick up, it's an emergency. Whose emergency? Who? <laughs> It's true. What you're going through is an emergency to you. Yeah. Mine is sleeping. I am sleeping. <laughs> and it's 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 around all the. That's why our hospital is there. If it's an emergency and you need to go to the hospital, go to the hospital. Yeah. Th those are those are the people who are capacitated to answer to your emergency. Me. The reason I'm at home is because being at home is in my emergency. The reason mm -hmm. I didn't go out is because it's my emergency. The reason I'm sleeping is because it's my The reason I'm talking here today is because it's my emergency. It's if it a, wasn't an emergency, emergency, emergency. Because yeah. people's, yes, the world is happening. Bad things are happening to people. Mm -hmm. But they're happening to people just as much as they're happening to you. Mm -hmm. True. So, unlearn that guilt of Othering yourself at the expense of of, of yourself mm -hmm. for other people. Kila kitu kifanyika. Nani, nani, yeah, nani, yeah. nani. And then, what, kuna kumuka yota imia, ya COVID-2, bad watu waliulizo, kuna mimi, likuwa ina go around, mm -hmm. watu wanaika kwa post zao, who is the most important person in your life. And I watched people answering other people constantly. Who's mm. the most important people person in your life? My husband, my wife, my mother, the child I lost, the 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 you know the miscarriage I had. Mm. There's everyone who is important to you, and you're not important not to yourself. Because yeah. the list should always be in reverse. It should be you are on top there. Then everyone else. Constantly. And every yeah. decision you make in life should always be you. You first. God notwithstanding. Even if you believe in God, God should come after yourself. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't he live in you? It should be secondary to your existence. Just remember, if you stop believing, they stop existing. <laughs> Happy, happy life. Happy. Karibu to say happy wife. Then I remember it's Kenya. They're probably not so happy. Yeah. And there's one. I don't know if I don't know if you've had the experience with it, mm -hmm. but there's this one thing I've remembered that was my experience in church. There's almost this unspoken pressure for getting married, mm -hmm. and when especially girls are not married by around twenty five, oh, twenty six, and in church, mm. and in church too. yeah. Mm. So there's and and in our church it happened that there used to be a streak. So mm. what was kwa youth pamoja the first wedding iki happen from that day there's a wedding every other month paka youth waishe for your group I don't know I I don't know what unspoken language it is and then I also feel like it plays into religion has played heavy on even GBV yeah. that we have right now because divorce is completely oh. unthought of yeah. and vumilia and you and will shame your family, you will shame yeah. the church. Out Ambia, you can't keep a home. Yeah. You can't keep a home. And you see, that's also a, it's a woman thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like I I felt like the church honestly, I just felt like the church was not for me as a girl. And I've always told my friend who they were not raised strict, but I, you can carry this social experiment. Mm -hmm. Look at your friends' circles and see the friends who religion was not strict in their families. Mm -hmm. They're a bit better balanced yeah. than some of us. Ask me, me, I grew up in a family where my mom stands at the door at seven or eight. Na anasema ni kifunga imlango kila mtu kwenje. And you must go to church. There yeah. must be family devotion. So for me, faith is not only something that I needed to step away from to find mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. Faith is also very traumatic. Yes. It was pushed down my throat. I didn't understand why we were doing the things we are doing. Too much coercion. But yeah. I had to yeah. do it and I had to be there and I had to believe and I had to show up and I, and there is no 
there's no autonomy in the church yeah. because my because you you sing you need to sing in the church you because you do this you need to serve in the church i didn't have choices i didn't have ah leo me see in the church ah leo ni mechoka ah leo sina sauti you didn't have that and i think people just need to realize parents i'm usually keen on parents because you're raising a generation that will exist mm. when probably we are not even here mm. be very keen not to push down things like faith down your children's throat yeah. let them find it out for themselves or rather if you're a believer mfunze kidogo kidogo pray for yeah. your food um this is how to pray don't push it down their throats because us as people who grew up in those strict families we don't want them those anymore. strict christian families <laughs> we know Look at us right now. Pesa yote inaenda therapy. Hii ni shida gani? Ilitoka kwa God kind of mvua. I have a question. Uh, uh but kitu mzuri sana and it's something I, I, we have probably not mentioned. E, uh, you see, we like to pass down when well, we have already passed down most of the genetic information mm. through eh uh, the union of two parents. Yeah kuna information about culture how yeah. to do things and the like yeah. and the like and the like that we pass down to our progenies our mm-hmm. children the like or the next generation rather yeah if you do, if you have a, yeah, if you have a, if you haven't had children the next generation to say yeah? <laughs> yeah whoever you you're nurturing mm-hmm. sasa question comes in here at what point do we call what our parents are doing to us by making church mandatory mm-hmm. <laughs> at what point do we call it indoctrination at what point From do we say rojo mostly indoctrination was used in this way that mm-hmm. wherever you came from your christian family that you mm-hmm. came from if you if you go somewhere else you were born catholic yeah mm-hmm. if you go somewhere else where pca mm-hmm. is the dominant denomination mm. trying to get you from catholic to pca is what was looking like its indoctrination while mm. pretty much wasn't indoctrination means you got a clean slate yeah. una imprint yeah. mm. you you already well you're quite indoctrinated theory yeah. by the time yeah. you are you're getting to that place where they want to convert you to pca yeah. to aic mm. to sda and the like kwanza ile ilikuwa inawashtua kabisa to death ni their children turning to become to turning to islam yeah mm. hey unataka kuwa terrorist unataka unataka unakuwa recruited boy yeah. ombeni mtoto wangu <laughs> me that is that is that is i felt like that is better to me that made more sense to me if you panic that your child is going to change to another religion what made no sense to me is the panic that came when i wanted to change to another denomination hata hiyo inakuwa shida isn't the god yeah. isn't this one god eh inaleta gashida yani kutoka tu kuic kwenda catholic itafanya muniti elders muniombe isn't it the same god you christians it's, both of them like so it's, like uh, meat was wild to me and i'm just like even within yourself you can't find a common voice within your own religion and you yeah. think you'll go out to try and recruit people from other religions to I, believe in you yeah i think all well, of us wazazi wao wanasikia aje mkiwaiba kutoka kwa dini za i think i think all of it is 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 founded on the same thing we've been saying here and i've been i i i, I like saying this a lot mm-hmm. even with parents we are a society that accountability is more foreign than we like to acknowledge mm-hmm. and so when when it comes down to the wire there is people we feel like are above accountability and you know what the why it's because of the indoctrination you're speaking about yeah. already the reason we are told we have to be in churches and other kind of stuff is because of religion it's because of these things that people who brought us to this world believe in and they think we should share those beliefs and like you said also i don't think it's entirely a bad thing because i feel like there's for your parent for example there's a part where they are more informed about specific experiences yeah. however i think the bad thing is what you said earlier okay fine then tell me and then let me make my own choices yeah. that's your kid and the indoctrination the literally indoctrination is telling people 
things and then forcing them into those things. Mm-hmm. Whereas the right thing to do that would make it not indo- indoctrination is when you tell them and then you leave them to it. Mm-hmm. It's like when you're a church member. Yeah. What a cosa. Sadaka ina delete. How we say all the time choices have consequences but nobody church never gives people room to have choices. Mm. It's like cho- choices but have consequences, consequences but like never will you give me a room to make choices so then what does it matter consequences mm. don't matter here because I I will never make a choice and it cuts across even with parents and and that's why I say when you look at it many and I'm speaking hugely about millennial parents currently I know we have parents who are younger than millennials the gen yeah. xers and all that but people who are parenting young children at the moment i've had a lot of you saying on social media especially wait until you have a child you'll understand no i will not understand mm. and that's the thing your child will never understand the same energy I give you yes. give your child so baby. don't repeat the cycle that your parents put you through Break in the it. name of that your parent mm. what you should be doing is finding the courage you found the courage and the confidence to bring a whole human child to the world find mm. dig deeper and find the courage to do it differently yeah it might n- not have the best outcomes anyway but you can mm-hmm. pride in the fact that you didn't do the same things that were done to you in the name of your parenting news flash we did not turn out okay <laughs> we did not we did not turn out okay you, 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 uh, look what happened uh, okay. we did not we did not did we, <laughs> we are we very broken out okay. people out here boy yeah. you just have to touch the right nerve and yeah. boom it crumbles yeah that's true and we also have to recognize that even as our parents did that to them it was also done to them in, yes. in fact for them our lip pigwa na the white man wali pigwa ndo hiyo unapigwa ukipaiwa bible so for them maybe they just passed it down and never really understood but for us who have information now honestly ata nilikuwa nasema i i said on tiktok honestly looking at the whatever the tactics that like Ruto are using at the moment mm. it is insulting to us to think that right now i can literally generate text on on ai yeah. now you are using a tactic that was used by moi in 1990 it is insulting to the evolution of technology yeah. or by the it, colonizer it, yeah so yes your parents did that they didn't know any better ni sawa mm. but you, know you, you have more information you have better exposure and you have done this podcast listen to it yeah. and do I'm better how many will lose eh ama police wakichapa watu wanachapa tu makosa sio 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 it's funny because it's funny because being queer that's all you ever hear god god hates the scene not the scene dude ni chukie tu mi wote kabisa i am fine i am good where i am also the idea shida niko nayo na kusema wanachapa makosa hizi makosa wanachapa hawachapi zao wenyewe wakifanya wanachapa wenyewe wengine wanafanya It's Chapa why I am person. big on coming back to yourself. The journeys of death to self and life to self, very very mm. important. Because when you come back to yourself, before najua mnapenda kurefa kwa history yenye si Jesus alisema if you have no sin be the first to cast a stone. Mm. And it's all beautiful until when you think about it deeper and then you realize it's not even about sinning. Mm. It's about the fact that It's wrong overall to cast stones at people. Okay, yeah, it is. It doesn't matter how much you disagree with anything. Ungepata mtu kweli hana sin. Si angerusha na. Angerusha pawe na fool. Lakini nani alisema huyo mtu hana sin? Exactly. By what standard? Kwa sababu the concept ya kutokuwa na sin ni venye watu wanakujaje as opposed to venye unajifikiria wewe. Exactly. Wao ndio wameamua ulikosea. Niko na sin so natulie juu na jua ndio tukamona. Na kitambo hizo days sin zilikuwa vitu weird kama ku have sex. sex work is not work it's it's it's, it's, it's criminal it's mm. nini, and words like prostitution that looks to you know ostracize Hello people to. who voluntarily <laughs> a size of fun, fun fact. Uh, greatest grandmother yes why yes alikuwa nani Rehab. Rehab. I mean, yep. Greatest grandma. Rehab. Wa Jericho. 
And it's also the oldest profession in the book. Yes. Then, yes. Mm. And then what you wanna wanna kubaliana na kupea susu na nipea pesa. Hata hata in the hata in the beginning in the beginning in the beginning in the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. <laughs> God alikuwa pimp bwana. <laughs> Aliona Adam ako wewe bwana unataka kaja si niko niko na kadema hapa unaweza Unaweza kuba chunda na mandiko And then wewe God alianza out as kuwa pimp I know hey. And then wewe uko na mtu umekutana naye tunampenda unampea susu yako bure mahari hajalipa anakuchapanga anakutesanga na lala njaa na bado mnapopata watoto akakuacha sasa wewe ni single parent but it is all in god's plan come on learn to be the kind of a person who says kama unagonga mtu mgonge jo ameshika vitu zako lakini kama haja interfere na existence yako achana na hata sisi magaze tuachane maji na tuja kufanya yeni tuko tu tunapumua tunaona susu za wenye tunataka kuona na asubuhi mtu na wanataka tuone susu zao mtu It is what it is man. If one cast is a issue the susu the Ah ah it it a susu mungu mungu ayupo. Ama iitwe kama iPhone i susu. Iliko hiyo mbe ilikuwa inaenda a susu a susu mungu perfect topic. <laughs> hey, my Lord. Like in the grand of grand scheme of things it's yeah. not about it has nothing to do about you and when you learn to live your life worrying mostly about yourself and in incidences where you've been invited to worry about other people mm-hmm. your life will be much easier because the only time you have worries is when it's your worry or it's your person who has told you please mm-hmm. help me worry about this mm-hmm. and trust me there's 8 billion of us chances of less than 10 people coming to you to tell you uh, to worry about them are very high yeah but when you create a culture of worry, worrying about everyone not even your government that you voted in you're mm-hmm. worrying about nara smith na kusiju api you're worried about some smith some smith because you think how he dresses how oh, they the dress smith. rather <laughs> is a problem <laughs> and you're not even you have a rent your end month But mm-hmm. where you're drawing the line is worrying about your shit, you're worrying about the world that has nothing literally mm-hmm. most of the time to do with you. Yeah. When that start happens, you realize God is a concept, not a complex. Mm-hmm. Do you? You said it. Funge podcast. It's literally just a concept. Yeah. And you can exist in your highest power. And if God to is about high power, why are you not in your high power? Mhm. Yeah. Pastor Mary Liz to Mary Sada ka 310. Wacha kutumia kanyari. Unaona hiyo, unaona hiyo namba hapo chini. Wewe kama wewe. Now you I also so I nimekumbuka video niliona jana. Uh, someone had said at the godly you remember when i said me when i see someone status and it's a child of god. Yeah. The godly the status the lucifer the, the, <laughs> the, the, the person. Person. <laughs> i do agree it's such it's actually even well, a turn off enda tu angalie twitter any vile comment from anyone or some shit mkoro amesema kitu ya ujinga enda tu angalie profile yake Ch- child, of, child, of, child of, god. of god father husband ow <laughs> Dangerous people. Oh my dangerous. Oh, oh, oh. Imagine labda huko hivyo nje una ni like unataka kuni smash but umeandika yeah. god kwa timeline yako so mimi siwezi kuja hapo kwa sababu yeah. kwangu ni yangu nimeandika god doesn't live here. <laughs> Hey my lord. <laughs> no my Facebook says that god doesn't reside here because yeah. he doesn't. Mm. So if you're coming here to look for god unless it's me mm. I'm a concept and I believe I'm a god concept. Yeah. So if you want that but if you are looking for your god when you pick up a god I can only kneel for one thing I well, cannot uh, say uh, it here. Uh, there's children watching. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> say it. <laughs> 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 we'll be back after this commercial break. <laughs> I think they get on your knees. I, I, I do get on my knees more often than you'd like to imagine. Yeah. However, it's not tough. for prayer. Go on your knees. 
Go on your knees in Dubai. You will get on a yacht in a tong. You will twerk. Ah. Hebu tufunge podcast kabla podcast ifungwe. Nani anafunga na maombi? Pray for us bro. Tuombe brother brother. Maybe jina yako ingekuwa poa sana na brother but look at your life. I'm a reverend Adrian. Ni kwa na prefix ya brand. It will come off very aggressive. By the way I'm wearing a suit I know I'd make a good pasta except Okay, yeah. let me not do it. But no. right now see we can start starting. Kwa ile kanisa Natasha. Eh, na kuja na Natasha like as BB in a church. I get yeah. all that I want in one. Hi Natasha. Natuma salamu. Wewe ndo watatu ni wapendao. Because God is love, he loves everyone. We are love to. Sana the Holy Spirit they all live in you. Watatu ni wapendao. <laughs> oh my lord well, please if they, uh, if they sue you i'll be a witness <laughs> well, kama nani wanamsu kama nani unajua say 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 ni kosho unajua their biggest fear by the time they were getting to the first hour of the episode their biggest fear was you ready na tokea wapi Uh, and now it's all scattered. Uh, Ira di natokea bi from that god of love when you know I mean Ira di natokea bi wakamba wana radi kwa sababu wana mvua very I think the thank you guys because at least we've touched on quite a number of bases. So my thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works and it is okay. It works too. It is okay. Pepe Julian Omuzim. Why are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, why is one Thank you so much for coming. We hope it is insightful. Um if you've caught a feeling then know you have something to work on within yourself and find out discernment is key. Know when someone is just taking your money. We can even pose a challenge yeah. to the listeners. Can you mobilize people in your church and not remove tithes and offerings for a while? and see the true colors of your people. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. But thank you guys for coming. Mpeleke <laughs> maandamano <laughs> kanisani. Mpeleke by the way. Oh there was a, there was a, there was a there was a concern at some point that some of the churches were complaining young people young people are leaving the church especially yeah. this recently. And they will keep leaving when church didn't stand. And with. we are standing that let them leave. Yeah. The and the earlier, next time someone comes and campaigns mm. and tells you yeye ni nabi uzuri mumejionea na macho sasa mnajua and until next oh there's no next time this is the last episode yeah, the last episode yeah. but also last, before we wait, finish last episode of what of, of season 4 oh. in honesty podcast ruto must go ruto utaenda by the bro utaenda reject bye boy <laughs> boy bye bye <laughs> <laughs> boy bye until boy. season 5 if, if we'll still be here peace in the middle east Next on the In All Honesty podcast. We are closing in on season 4 and next week we will be talking about adulting for money what it looks like just generally um are you in the 8 to 5 are you running a business are you in consultancy are you in freelance like what has life looked like just trying to hustle gaining different experiences what insights have you learned what are the lessons you have 
in working at age to five or running your own business or trying to switch between the two. So if you are the kind of person who like just has gone through the motions of it, what are some of the biggest lessons you've learned in life that are taking you through how you're gaining your money right now and how you're investing or rather managing your money? Let's talk about adulting for money. What has your experience been like? And uh, I guess you can always reach out to me through my DMs at Olive Orao and you can also send me your stories through my email at Olive Orao at gmail.com do you hear that would you lend me some coins please the in all honesty podcast needs you to continue running i will deeply appreciate support from you you can send monetary contributions to my mpesa plus 254-728-171059 via paypal at olive orawo that is o-l-a-v-e o-r-a-w-o you can support the podcast indirectly by buying merchandise and services I offer listed on my WhatsApp catalog. My WhatsApp number is plus 254-728-171059. Did you think I'd forget? Advertise with the In All Honesty podcast. Hit me up to talk about it. You can do that via WhatsApp plus 254-728-171059. Or via email, oliveorawo at gmail.com. Or you can also DM me on socials at oliveorawo. You know the hand that gives will receive an episode every week. <laughs> I'm not where I want to be. But I'm in what was once a dream. So if I do some quick math. The future equals a dream come true. Since 1992, In All Honesty, a podcast by Olive Orawo.